Hello, I'm David Chastain with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news in a world of rising uncertainty, markets are turning increasingly cautious. In the US, durable goods orders rose more in September from August than anticipated by analysts. However, they showed zero growth on a year-on-year basis. But orders for non-defence capital goods did rise 2.6% on a year-on-year basis, and that shows a recovering mood in the boardroom. American retail sales marked time last week, barely expanding from the prior week and showing only a tepid year-on-year expansion and half the rate we noted last week. Also tame was the latest consumer sentiment survey, which ticked lower in October because consumers are less optimistic about the short-term outlook than a month ago. In their housing market, it is now clear that part of the current demand is because many who rent are now buying. The American home ownership rate has taken a sharp turn up in 2020, rising to levels last seen about 15 years ago and reversing a long-term decline. And in China, industrial profits rose more than 10% in September compared with the same month in 2019, amounting to a massive $140 billion in the month alone. It contributed to a recovery that now sees all of 2020's gains exceeding the nine months of 2019. And in South Korea, they released their third quarter 2020 GDP result overnight, showing a rise from the second quarter, but still 1.3% lower than the same quarter in 2019. It is a result dragged down by their international trade activity. The US Treasury 10-year yield is lower by one basis point today, at just on 0.78%, and the price of gold is up another $5 today to $1,909 an ounce. And oil prices have recovered some today, up a dollar to now be just under $39.50 a barrel in the US, while the international price is up to a bit less than just $41 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar is firmer at 67.2 US cents. Against the Australian dollars, we've also firmed to 94.1 Australian cents. And against the euro, we're up to 56.8 euro cents. That means our trade weighted index is now up to 70.3. I'm David Chaston, and that was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.